Hello! Hi guys, it's Inam Gafour here with the Apple iPhone 5S along the left hand side and the Samsung Galaxy S4 along the right hand side. I get quite a few questions about users' devices getting hot while they're using them. So in this video, we're going to see how hot both these devices get while playing a 30 minute gaming session of a Need for Speed Most Wanted across both handsets. Now the Galaxy S4 here is running Android Jelly Bean with all the power saving modes turned off and we're going to be using a Mr. Men forehead thermometer. How cool Cool am I to measure the temperature and essentially after the 30 minutes of gaming we're going to be placing it across the back here see how hot these devices get and there's a color bar which goes through the center which highlights in various colors depending on what the temperature is obviously and just to give you an idea the average human beings body temperature is between 37 to 38 degrees C so we'll see how hot both these devices get along the back because that's how you hold the device in your hand with the back firmly against your fingers and obviously noticeably getting hotter as you play the games. So what we'll do is load up into a game here and as I say power saving modes are off and we'll have a stab at this one. 30 minutes non-stop across both devices and hopefully you can see the stop clock in the background. Let's get going. Shouldn't take too long to load up here. There we go, ready to rock. I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh, I need to pause to get the controls to on screen controls because I hate the motion controls. Here we go, that should be better. As you can see, we're coming up to 30 minutes of gameplay on the stop clock there. So with the phone in my hand, I can actually feel how hot it's gotten since we started the stop clock. Ooh, it's dimmed down in the background, but hey ho. And I'm on a checkpoint trial here, so I'm not really meant to hit any of the sides or any of the other cars, but hey ho. There's a lot of action going on in terms of the scenery passing by and the police. So you can see we've gone the 30 minutes of a gameplay here. So what we'll do, we just turn that down, bring the thermometer across and we'll just place that across the back here. And you can see already how it's lighting up the, the middle sections there. And you can see it's lit up pretty much all of them and it's staying 40 degrees was there and then it's kind of, kind of a shade of blue so we're gonna say the solid color that it's on at the moment is a 38 and approaching into 39 I'd say the 40 has gone dark fully so I'd say 39 degrees we'll let go of the thermometer there we'll leave the S4 take a welcome rest for the time being we'll stop the stop clock there reset it and we'll load up need for speed most wanted on the 5s here running ios 7 and just make sure the volume there you go let's get into gameplay again shouldn't take too long to boot up and while that boots up we'll go along the back again here see if that has it is stone cold to the touch to be fair so you can see nothing at all in terms of what's lighting up the temperature strip here. So that's stone cold. We'll see what it looks like in about 30 minutes time. So we'll get going and then we'll start the clock. There we go. And skip past this. Is this motion controls? No. Okay. Let's get going. Come on, drift baby, drift. You can see I'm on 29 minutes of gameplay here. So we've got about another 40 seconds to go. And I can feel the iPhone getting warmer noticeably than what it was previously. But the interesting thing is 
Apple use aluminium as a material where Samsung use plastics polycarbonate. So aluminium dissipates heat better than plastics. So this will be interesting to see what the temperature actually comes up to. So let's restart this again while I've only got about 10 seconds to go. So just to keep the momentum going and drift around the first couple of corners and bouncing off the walls. Same checkpoint race I'm finishing on as before really, so just to keep it a little bit more consistent. And there we go, we've hit 30 seconds of gameplay. So what we'll do, turn it around while it's still going and just bring that in. You can see how far it's getting warm. Whoa, look at the iPhone. Definitely warmer than the Galaxy S4. The brightest being the 40 degrees C there. What's interesting about both these devices is that they cool down really quickly. So within the space of about five to 10 minutes after your gaming session, they will be almost down to normal operating temperature. Very, very good indeed. And whereas the Galaxy S4 has a removable back, the heat has more chance of escaping through the, the rear of the handset itself. And of course the iPhone 5S is completely sealed, so it retains more of the heat, even though it's using more exotic materials like aluminium here. But that's been not so a scientific look at the operating temperatures of both devices while playing a heavy duty game like Need for Speed Most Wanted after a 30 minute session. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and a lot what you saw and if you haven't already done so, subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.